Mr. Chairman and honorable members, my name is David Rogers. I'm a newly elected uh, supervisor in District 2 of Madera County, which includes the city of Chachula and the area where uh, California High Speed Rail will make a Y in the Great Central Valley. I'm here today to ask your help to ask you to help the more than 30,000 residents of my district slow down the runaway train of high speed rail authority. Since the passage of Prop 1A, my constituents have endeavored to work with HSRA. They have served on technical working groups and public meetings, offered suggestions on how high speed rail could work within our community. The County Board of Super Supervisors has adopted their suge suggestions as a local preferred option by unanimous vote. We have presented these options to HSRA and in several cases offered to be a model of how high-speed rail could use existing corridors to pass through our communities without destroying our communities, our pristine wildlife, and our economy. We have even offered a viable location for the heavy maintenance, maintenance facility at the Gordon Shaw site in my district. I regret to tell you that despite all of our work and goodwill, the HSRA has disregarded our offers and ideas have given us lip service to placate our demands and then blatantly and arrogantly ignored us. The record is deep in letters from cities and agencies expressing their distrust of this process. The HSRA has become the master manipulator, pitting C Central Valley City against city, county against county, and farmer against farmer by dangling promises of maintenance jobs and temporary construction jobs in front of our impoverished, impoverished region. Our community faces great challenges in a struggle to survive, and the jobs are, are the imperative consideration. We recognize that there will be a temporary lift in construction jobs when the rail comes through, but we also know that agriculture and value-added products we create are the only remaining and lasting economy we have. Madera County has built its economy on agriculture and its related products. We have dedicated ourselves for years to the preservation of ag land and ag industry. Will the HSRA now decide to disrupt a century of family heritage carved out with blood, sweat, and tears? Will the HSRA now decide that Bruce and Gary Chapman and their families can no longer live on or around their family farm with their mother and father, or that Steve Massaro and his father and his son can no longer be farmers? If we destroy our agricultural land, we will not only lose a finite resource and a, and a way of life, we lose jobs that accompany agriculture, the packing box manufacturer, the bottle maker, the seed company, the crop duster, the irrigation supplier, and the equipment supplier, the value-added manufacturing that still exists in this state. In the end, Madera County will only, be, uh, will only get the whoosh of a train passing by us. High-speed rail can be built correctly. It can use existing corridors, and we have to show, and we have shown them how to do this. Unfortunately, the HSRA have been a train wreck, off track, plowing ahead through our fields, without accountability or reason. My constituents, as honest, hardworking people, are in a great trepidation over the disregard of HSRA toward their future. You hold the power of their future in your hands. You hold the purse strings. Force the HSRA to do what is right to do this project right or not at all. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. My name is Craig Farmer. I live and farm in Madera County, and I'm also a director on Preserve Our Heritage. High-speed rail needs to follow their guidelines and follow existing transportation corridors. By not doing so, you'll be destroying some of the most productive farmland in the state. For every mile that the rail would be going through agricultural land, it will be impacting 320 acres. Myself, I'd be affected by 840 acres. So I feel that you don't need to give any more money until there's an oversight committee that will properly view the issues. Thank you. Well, my name's Cole Upton. I'm a farmer in Merced County. It's good to see Mr. Huffman again, Mr. Valadeo. Uh, I worked with Hard Speed Rail here for about eight months because uh, the idea is that we're not opposed to it. It just ought to be done right. And I, I, uh, I've worked with Mr. Van Ark. Uh, we've been on the technical working groups as an official of a water district elected official. I've been to all their open hearings. The problem is, is some of the folks are just aren't listening. Okay, we understand, and I'm, I'm Kathleen Galgiani is my uh, representative, and and she's done a good job. Uh, she's a very dedicated person, and she's been trying to help us by getting in an audience with the appropriate high-speed rail officials to understand they need to follow the guidelines of using existing corridors. And that's why we started Preserve Our Heritage, because 
we found in our area they are slicing and dicing about 15,000 acres in our area. And we gave them a plan where you could use an existing corridors. And, and they basically say they can't do that because what they put out in July is too far along. Well, the problem with that is the technical working group met in June of 2010. Every public agency there said the Y should be south of Chowchilla. When they came out with their, their plan for July, it was north of Chowchilla. Okay, and ever since then, we've been trying to get it off, and we are told, sorry, it's on there. Your only choice is to uh, make a comment during the EIR and then sue after that. That's a heck of a way to run a railroad, no pun intended. But uh, we need some folks like you that represent the public to step in and say, hey, folks, let's do this right. Let's do it fiscally responsible, and then, then we can make it work. Uh, the Ag Commissioner in our area I actually had him come to a technical working group. And we asked him, what happens when these trains go through the farmland? I said, am I going to be able to, to appropriately farm my ground? And he says, how fast do they go? 220 miles. How often? Every 11 minutes. He says, there's no way. He says, that half mile swath is off the table. You're either going to have to be an organic farmer or you're going to have to figure out some way else, some way else to control your weeds and your bugs. Okay? So uh, I think agriculture, we have to follow certain rules and guidelines, and we should, because we want to save food supply. But these folks ought to have to follow the guidelines on what this bond was passed. And you folks are going to have to, to implement that. Lastly, I've been told sometimes I'm too negative, so here I'm going to give you something positive. Okay, they say the ridership is too low from Borden to a Corcoran, right? Here's the plan. Just extend the Borden over the Chowchilla's women's prison, have a station in Corcoran at the Corcoran's men's prison, allow conjugal visits, your ridership will go through the roof. Okay? <laughs>